这边喽，跟 Mr. Ho 啦，用纸皮呢，铺上去就可以休息。就是一些人去告我们呢，警警察就来叫我们不可以来他们店房。So running the SGP, we do have rules that we need our stairs to abide by. They have to come in by 10.30 p.m. Because our shutter is actually quite noisy. If we have to open every time someone comes back, it really will just wake everyone up. So we set a time and everyone abides by that time. I'm broke a lot. I coming over the gate and sneaking in from the back door. Because it was late at night. What time do you usually come back? Uh, probably two or three. Thanks for meeting me on a short notice. So the key thing that I wanted to discuss with you today is that uh, we will discharge him. Within this one half months, there were just too many incidents, too many infringers. And we need to set the right procedures. If not, uh, the whole SGP will be in a mess. We'll discharge him. We'll give three days uh, notice. Within just the second week of here, he has come into the shelter uh, during our non-operation hours, even though we have told him that that would make him a suspect if there's anything being lost. Twice over, he has actually climbed over the gate in the middle of the night. So we spoke to him to get him to comply with the rules. Uh, unfortunately, he has continually broke these rules. We're going to do the discharge now. We're going to go to your locker. So, in your locker, you can close it. Then, that's your thing, right? Yes. Okay, so you just put it beside you, lor. so at least I can check out. Lah. Blanket, this one is your, right? Oh. Okay, come here, you can sign it. Oh. This one. Ah. Can I kick off? <laughs> yeah. Man, legit, I'm not joking, bro. Uh, one night, uh. two nights, you can't come here. I'm going to turn off. I usually go to the gym about five times a week. So the gym is like an escape. Because you're focusing on the exercise itself, I can just like forget about all the other things that's going on in my life. I started in secondary three. Back then, we were living with my father. I started to go to gym once a week, and I wanted to go more. So I have to constantly fight with my father. He's actually much more controlling when it comes to me and my sister's freedom. This uh, Dorian here. I know what papaya. I bring her to some new areas that I've been to, and then she gets to experience the new areas that she's never seen before. We used to be locked up at home. My daily schedule was waking up, going to school, after school, CCA, and then just back home. I've never like gotten to hang out with my friends at all. And it's just very stressful. Uh. He do spot checks on our phones. 
every night. Well, while while three of us is sleeping, he is busy like reviewing all our poem. It was very sudden when we got kicked out. Nabila get her bursary on that day. Then straight away my husband just take that money from her. So that night, uh, we had a fight. He's attacking us verbally. He want to hunt him right hand. Then I just break right hand away and put my back. And I said, if you want to hunt him, my son, you hunt him me first. I said, if you are not satisfied of how I roll this house, you can this house. Then three of us like looking at each other. Then Raihan just I say, okay, this twelve o'clock I think in the yeah. middle of the night. Then Raihan just spoke a grab. <laughs> and then the grab coming on say, huh? Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> we also don't know. When we left the house actually we left without any money. What we survived on was Raihan's bursary at first. We tried to help our mum with all our money that we have to buy food. It's not a lot, but we did survive with them. Right? I almost became depressed because every time I went to school, I like couldn't focus on study actually. Because I was always worried that we don't have shelter, don't have enough money. Then my teacher helped me out by giving $50. I will never forget them. And then we called up one of my uncles on my father's side because my mother is Filipino. She has no family members here in Singapore. So we called up my uncle. We said, uh, yeah, come over. Six months. Then he started telling us to move because he said he's selling the house. That is the time that I start panic. So I called back again my social worker. This is how we get this shelter. Our mother is a nice case. She is not a Singaporean. She is a Filipino, but she has two children who are Singapore citizens, and uh, they qualified lah to be in a shelter. The transitional shelters are in HDB flats. You probably share with one other family. You can actually stay there the whole day. It's furnished by the operator. You pay a bit of rent to the operator. This house has two rooms. Room two is our place, and the room one is in the other tenant. We actually aren't allowed to use the other rooms. There is two beds inside, and my mother would either sleep on the floor or we would take turns. So anything that is beyond the room, right? Uh, meaning outside in the common area, everything has to be shared. If they were to bring in new tenants to live with us, we will have to shift our stuff inside. There are a few rules like no smoking, no pets. I have a girlfriend, right? And it's quite inconvenient sometimes because we can't bring her home to like, watch movie, watch TV. Most of the time, I'm over at her place. So it has to be only registered tenants to be in a shelter. Mainly, so make sure the tenants here live in a safe environment. Biggest struggle. No privacy at all. Because like if both of them are girls, maybe I it's okay lah. But it's a boy and a girl. Me and Rahan like had a bit of arguments of like who is going to take what. <laughs> this one. So this is normally where Rahan store all his stuff. Then just because of this cup that I want to place inside, and because I have no other areas to place. Mom asked Raihan to give me the space to just leave, leave it inside. She has more space than me. I don't think so. <laughs> so normally, where I am always is on the floor with the small little table. Yeah, at home, limited space, so that's why I try to complete in school.
because I'm usually awake late at night to do my school work. I just like sit out here in the dark to do my own work, so I won't disturb them. Yeah. The whole day there, you cannot go back to the shelter, you cannot do anything. I told them I have no place to go. I hope you don't mind, I sit here to pass my time. It's okay. What? Hey, if they ask me to help, Tony, help me this, help me that, I will do that. Only two old ones, I know them. So I bring my flu to repair from here. So from there, we get to know each other. So we can get along, that's all. Early morning, when our store open about nine, he will be down here until about we close our store every day. Sometimes we are not free, busy our work. He will go and buy the food for us, like lunch time. Then they cannot finish. Then I will share also. Uh. This is the way I save some budget. So they know that you are looking for a house to save, right? They don't know because I don't want to share my problem. We know that he is very clear. One person has not done the money. He is a good person. He is really good. He is not 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 good. Ani ching ta to to ji chu a ta hui tian hui gei ni. Sit, then give you one jackpot. I still try to find my best to see if I can get a job. If you have more past time, no always I have to come here also. I also need some extra because. Slowly, our standard of living will be more higher. For my CPF? My own retirement fund. In IT only. Pay all the bills, everything, no more. This one, my PSA sticker here attached to a container for my driving as a container lifter. These are compliments about my work. So next time we will be trying to find another work easier. And then always you put in the pocket. Somebody maybe they also work in the same line. Who knows they can recommend me. One job here. You work in a warehouse? Very dusty. Yeah. What kind of job are you looking for? Lipster for a container. So that one should be a very big one. More than five plant. Mm. Then you really need to look for other jobs? Huh? It never cost my health problem okay. Lah. The aircon place, a clean area, something like that. Without so many dust outside like open air. I'm an asthmatic. Last time, one, one puff only. This is a new one. I have to take two puffs. Her girl can make coffee. My friend gave it to me, so I can save some budget. My budget is $20 a day. Hey, today, I think I overspent. <laughs> Yeah. Overspend because I had to go to the laundry shop to clean, to wash up. The shelter's machine, when I wash, somebody pulls it. So I had to restart again. Then after that, over I go back again, pulls again, second time. 
mean somebody want me to not enough sleep every night. <笑>你看 this shelter can accommodate up to six packs. The well, church is quite big and spacious, and at night it's very empty and quiet, and there's no other people around. Hello, Madam Yu. I want to give you a turn. Oh. Shiyo就开了 <laughs> Madam Yu has a long-term partner, Mr. Ho. Madam Yu was actually quite anxious because she was separated from her partner. Mr. Ho now stays at SGP at Yuchukang Chapel and he would like, make it a point to come here early in the morning before 7am to pick Madam Yu up. Yeah, and then they'll head off to next together where they go about their daily life. So now you are living here and then Mr. Ho is living in Yangchong. He's coming <laughs> so far not that the social worker is applying for the HDV rental flat and also the transitional shelter. I'm quite happy that they agreed to apply for a transitional shelter. Are you going to block one now? Go there and sit off. Go relax now. I used to stay here now. From 1973 until 1998. Skinny all the time. Oh, very skinny, right? When I was young, I always go fishing. I had my own busy friends. So never think of getting married. We meet in Singapore. We working as a domestic for nine years, one employer. Someone recommended her to me. The employee, you know, we get together. We never hide anything from him. It's very understanding. We know each other for eight years. We never quarrel one. That's why my father asked me to marry her. Ma. Even my father also can get along with her. Because domestic here is not allowed to marry a Singaporean. So we have to marry in Philippines. When my daughter was born, after one year, my wife started to fall sick because of the diabetic. So I have no other choice. And I, I sold my house. I don't work in the Philippines. I take care of my doctor and my wife. I spent so much money for that. At the end, also, my wife gone. I stayed for 23 years there. I promised my wife I will bring my children up. I'll let her independent. 
So I plan to come back to retire. I came back. I asked the agent uh, to find me a room for rent. They say okay, but never call back. I tried to rent a uh, small room here. At the end, also nothing happened. I don't know why it's so hard to rent a house nowadays. Reviewing his uh, income and expenditure, we noticed that it would be very not sustainable for him to live in the open market rental. So actually, we put up a um, referral for him to stay in a transitional shelter. In Mr. Top's case, he was not accepted into the transitional shelter because he was assessed to not have exhausted all his means of accommodation as he still has a house in the Philippines. So he was advised to actually return to Philippines while he awaits the process of applying for a rental flat. So at that point, we were helping to refer him to S3P, which stands for Safe Sound Sleeping Places. So these are actually um, accommodation option for displaced individuals to have a place to sleep at night. Hello, money changer. The shelter machine, when I wash, somebody pulls it. So I had to restart again. For a while, I go back again and pause again, second time. Then after finish the whole process, 11 or 12 o'clock, then I sleep. For me, I normally sleep at 8, 9 o'clock. I never sleep late. That's why I have no choice. I have to continue my laundry outside. If somebody want me to not enough sleep every night, I will suspect this is Rosanna. One day, Edward put him in charge of us. From there, Rosan changed because of the way he talked is different now. Every time he talk to you, he ever, 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 always ever, they, are, they answer you. The shelter IC does not receive any remuneration. I depend on him a lot on maintaining the hygiene, the cleanliness of this place. Also, uh, making sure that other stayers are helping out in doing the cleaning. In the shelter, I always want to understand. Kat sini kira banyak masalah-masalah yang kecil-kecil lah. Buka tingkap lah, masuk baju lah. Dan tadi nak pakai apa ni, obat ni lah, bau. Dan tentang lah sembayang lah. Pendapat-pendapat homeless ni, lain-lain sikit. Got one time lah, the church told us, you have to rotate sweeping the floor, cleaning the place. Rosan is the one who automatically go in front of them. He will volunteer sweeping outside. And after that, not long, he asked me to sweep the hall also. A big portion I cannot because I have asthmatic allergy to dust. He did banyak tak nak dengar cakap Rosan sebab apa? Memang dia orang lama dan Rosan datang kemudian banyak hila dia cakap dia sempur lah. Interpersonal conflict is actually something that is quite common because at the end of the day, we are still a very small space and we have like people of all walks of life, different ages, different stages, different challenges, you know, all squeezing in one place. We do not cite anyone, but objectively, we want to know what is happening. If it's a small matter, then we will just tell each other to just um, like cool it off. Lah. Routine check. Generally, we will do these routine checks once a month. So they will not be informed of it prior. So it's a randomized check. Slot.
saya sekarang tengah bekerja sebagai grab delivery lah. Hello. Bosan kerja dalam 12 jam lah satu hari. Daripada 7 pagi, pukul 7 sampai pukul 1 tengah hari lah. Saya datang sini untuk cas ibadah. Sebab apa? Saya tinggal rumah tumpangan lah. Rusan duduk rumah sewa kat Little House Haugang. Jadi video Rusan kira yang pertama lah. Lepas tu Rusan dah nak bercerai. Rusan tak ada tempat tinggal lah. Rusan dah tak boleh balik rumah sini lagi lah. Kalau ikut Islam memang dah, dah tak boleh lah. Undang-undang dia, uh, kita nak kena keluar sebelum pukul tujuh. Dan balik pukul tujuh malam lah. Mereka uh, tak dibenarkan lah balik tengah hari. Kawan saya uh, ada cakap dengan saya lah. Uh, dia cakap kat sini ada tempat untuk charging dan untuk rehat lah. Mereka saya minta izin dengan asim ni orang lah. Uh, jadi mereka pun kasih Rosalan charger dekat tempat tu. Tempat yang lain selalu yang tempat charging tu selalu uh, kena lock. Rosalan nak kena charge uh, bateri 4 jam sampai penuh lah untuk petang main shift lah kerja. Lepas tu dari pukul 4 tu baru Rosalan kira start lah kayu sampai sampai pukul 10 setengah je. Paling lama pun dalam pukul 10 setengah je. So I waiting here quite long lah. So far tak ada lah, tak ada job. Okay, my battery also going to finish already. I need to charge. Then I think I going back to shelter lah. This is not a waterproof. This one is important because it's scared raining. The water can stuck at the battery space, so can short. Without the bike, I cannot do anything. I cannot get the money. I have one battery only. If spoil, it's very expensive to buy. Kat sini lagi kira selamat lah. The restaurant Faida ni main 24 jam. Sini banyak kawan-kawan Rosan yang kerja malam daripada lab driver sama food delivery. Jadi sambil mereka turn to hour kat sini, mereka boleh tengokkan juga. So far, tak pernah lah hilang basikal kat sini. Today I earn not much ah, twenty three dollars thirty eight cent sini. Kalau Rosan rajin kira kerja sabar dan ni, insya Allah boleh dapat lah dalam satu satu ribu lima ratus ah sebulan. Memang dah cukup lah untuk sewa rumah dari benda HDB lah kan. Tapi bagi Rosan memang ah tak cukup lah. Takkan semua sehidup nak terperangkap dalam rumah sewa gitu je lah. Ada 
Kadang-kadang pun rasa rasa macam uh, Demi hours tu kira tak make sense lah Untuk diri Rusan lah kira Macam Rusan kira lagi more bikin duit Kira sebelah malam If I can continue until 12 o'clock Maybe I can get about 100 plus to 200 per, per day I try to talk to them lah like that, But it's not okay the curfew for HP at Inspire is actually 10:30 p.m. It's because some of our stayers they may be working very early in the morning. They have to leave like five. Some of them they might be uh, ill. So they also need rest. For me, uh, like no enough freedom for him because I want to make money. I have all my goals. Kalau saya pun ada cerita nak pergi umrah. Are you going to see my social worker? We will still actually talk about the HDB public rental housing. So also understand that this joint single scheme sometimes can be a little bit challenging when because you also have to find somebody to stay right with you, right? Yeah. We have actually tried two times already, right? The first one, I find that he is not so suitable for me. Mm. And after that, I can say that. And this second one, the problem is that he's not a Singapore citizen. Mm. It's only a PR, so it's mm. more difficult for him. Need to take more longer time. Right, right, right. Mm, so to to approve that, but I have no time. Hurry! <laughs> I came here to to Singapore half a year already. Yeah. To apply for a public rental flat via the joint single scheme, it requires um, two individuals to put our application together. If the application is successful, they will be granted a one room HDB a public rental flat. I actually have another client mm. who is looking for uh, a flat, a flat partner as well. Mm. So actually, I can arrange for you to meet him first. Okay. His name is Mr. Go. He mm. works mm. as a janitor. Okay, no problem mm. with that. We believe that it is important for Mr. Todd and Mr. Go to meet beforehand um, because there have been cases of two persons who, due to certain differences, they might even choose to just not come back home and rough sleep outside. So we are hoping to avoid that. Hello. Hello, hi. hi from the shelter. Hello. Okay. Yeah, you're here to do our routine check, ah. Okay. Okay, come in, come in, come in. Generally, we will do these routine checks once a month. So they will not be informed of it prior. So it's a randomised check. Okay, uh, everything in working order? Any problem? Any Just catch? the leakage. And the ceiling? Uh? Yeah. Okay. And see the watermark. When it starts to rain heavily, it will actually start to drip through the cracks. So routine checks, we look out for three things. First, we take a look at the tenant to make sure that they are physically well. So the second thing we look out for is the condition of the unit. If anything is broken, then we will arrange to be repaired. Third is to make sure there are no infringements. Can anything spoil? The lights is okay, but only this one cannot, cannot rotate. Think. Oh, so it's an issue. Yeah. I will get you a replacement fan. Uh, I will get in touch with you. Yeah, okay. This is heavily subsidised under the government. We want to ensure that they have the responsibility and the ownership to pay for their own um, rental.
this oil is provided by the shelter. The induction, they provide. This is my children's favorite. Very nice. My wish now is to have our own rental flat. Better than to share with other people. Here we can like decorate, you know, put up stuff, put up photos. No TV. Um, yeah, no TV. <laughs> I received a call from the shelter manager informing me that Mr. Tok had got evicted. It was a shocking news to me. This place, uh, the dorm, was, uh, was terminated from the shelter. Temporary, I stay here for a while, waiting for my social welfare to contact me. I received a call from the shelter manager informing me that Mr. Tok had got evicted. It was a shocking news to me. And one day I came back at night on Sunday. Somebody is watching the troops. I look at the roster stated there, Sunday is not allowed to do washing. Then Rosalind come in, uh, asking me, who do the washing? I said, I don't know, I just came back. She said, don't like the way I answer. Dia tanya Rosalind, tanya macam kira kasar gitu. Rosalind pun ada marah dia lah. Tiba-tiba dia, dia marah, dia dah start agresif. Dia nak tumbuk. When we have argue, he puts me like that, not in the center. I push him back then. I show him the fish. They say I box him three times. Ah, Rosan, I tolak dia lah. Dia sempat pukul Rosan dalam tiga kali lah. I did not box him. Edward gave me a final discharge. So he asked me to pack.今天晚上是最后一个晚上明天呢就离开这个可爱的教堂明天我又跟华先生一起过去搬去一个新的环境那现在能够两个人住在同一座地方就方便多了他就不用跑来跑去那边男生男女是你吗<笑> 也是一定要有一点分开啊，等到我们正式注册了就可以拿到政府租屋嘛。So Madam Yu is finally moving to the transitional shelter tomorrow, and I'm here to bid her farewell and to explain to her what she needs to do before leaving tomorrow. Hello, Madam Yu. You eat well, Madam Yu? Ah, eat well. 你的爸爸你已经收拾好,对吗?对呀。可以收我你的老哥吗?可以,可以。可以。Tomorrow oh, okay. at 7am, Madam Yu will bring all her belongings and leave. So she won't be coming back anymore. I want to make sure everything is ready for the next day who is using it. 泡泡茶。那时候我用这个做枕头。哦，那时候你们在外面睡觉的时候。啊哈，对呀。你会想念这边吗？啊，我会想念你啦。Okay, okay. I'm very happy that Madam Yu is leaving, and she don't want her to come back because it's for the better. Staying in a transitional shelter is definitely better than staying in an SGP. She's able to have a somewhere that she can stay twenty four hours. 我十二月五号来这边住，今年三月十三号。
，啊，这个是你有心帮忙我，你可以离开这边。Today I go interview for a new shelter. Hope I can get it. My feeling is I have a chance. Uh. Hey, once a month I collect only 890 uh, retirement. If you keep staying there, I have nothing to eat later. Uh. It's very hard for me. Uh. We draw two times uh, because of the hotel. Uh. The way they calculate uh, $35 a day, Friday, Saturday, extra $5. So, finish, no more. You know, we draw anymore. I'm going to have a financial problem. On average, Usually application to SGP takes about one day to four days. Initially, Mr. Top was able to sustain. However, for Mr. Top, it actually took longer and he was required to stay at the hostel for close to two weeks. So the FSC actually stepped in to provide short-term uh, financial support. Madam so today we admitted Madam Yo into our transitional shelter. This is where she'll be staying for the next six months. Her case will be transferred over to us. I'll be handling her housing situation, maybe a bit of finance and also employment. Okay. Hey, Madam, you here, this one. Okay. Uh, this one, this one, this one. Okay. 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 So this is your bed. You can put your clothes in it. You can put your clothes in it. You can put your clothes in it. If you have any precious things, you can put it in it. But you have to put it in it. Okay. Because this bed is your own, so there is no one who can open it. We can't open it. Okay. 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 Okay, then we'll let you rest. Thank you, Madam Yoss. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, it's good. I'm very happy because there is a regular place. This place is good. Two people's house is very comfortable. Okay,不错了。我又申请政府主务,看政府可以分配我比较靠近慈仁宫或者四区一带。那么我们才有自己的新的家。Hari hari public holiday, for Chinese New Year, I need to go out before seven. Now there's a rule in the shelter. I tried to talk to the pastor regarding about the holidays. 
You said cannot. Still cannot. Yeah. I, sebab uh, it's a ruse. Ah. Satu bungkus. Okey, nanti. Ya. Hello, good morning, Say, happy morning, new morning. year. Oh. Shop, okay. Hey, no need. Thank you. 